Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't done a little sit down video like this. The last 25 videos I posted were all Vlogmas related. So if you wanna go and take a look at some of those, I will leave links down below. And if I can figure out how to make a YouTube playlist, then I will definitely try to do that so you can find those videos easier. Um, but today I just wanted to go through and talk about what I got for Christmas. And these are just a few things that kind of stood out. Actually, all of them are gifted to me from Chris. And they were all things that I've been really wanting or things that would help me along through this whole YouTube process. So I just wanted to share um, these items with you today. Before I go ahead and get started, I did wanna say Happy New Year to everybody out there and hope you have a great 2019. I know we're just getting started and this might be considered a little bit delayed talking about Christmas and it's already January, but that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. So the first item that I have right here is this All Saints leather jacket and this is in the style called Balfern and I got it in a size two in US. And to be honest with you guys, I probably can't make a lot of use of leather jackets jackets here in Hawaii. I'm hoping it starts to get a little bit cooler but as you can see I'm still wearing a t-shirt today it's like 85 degrees outside so not going to be wearing this today but definitely want to take it with me traveling I have been eyeing this jacket for a long time now I have never owned a leather jacket before so if any of you guys out there have any tips on caring for leather jackets please let me know down in the comments below because I want to make sure that I'm taking care of this one but I always thought leather jackets look really cool anytime I saw them online for sale um, you know during kind of the winter season than when they um, are normally out on websites and I particularly like this one because I feel like it just looks a lot cleaner like it doesn't have too much going on I know there is like a belt buckle on the bottom which I probably wouldn't do up while I'm wearing I'd probably just leave it open like this um, but I did really like the leather I tried this on in store and last year I noticed that All Saints does a 40% off everything um, right around Black Friday. So I saw that last year, I thought about buying it, but I had already done a whole bunch of other Black Friday shopping. So I waited until this year, I let Chris know that it was on sale and then he went and got it for me. So I'm really looking forward to um, wearing this and I would just try it on real quick in front of the camera so you can see what a size two looks like on. Okay, so this is what the jacket looks like on. I feel like right now because it's so new and I haven't actually worn it like for a full day or out of the house or anything, um, it it is a little bit tight and I think it's just kind of like you know working the leather in and making it a little bit softer with wear um, when I went into the store the sales associate recommended that I get a size 2 if I wasn't going to be wearing a whole lot of other stuff underneath like layering sweaters and stuff like that and to be honest with you if I did want to go ahead and try to wear this at home during the winter seasons there's no way that I would be able to wear a sweater under here and not be sweating like crazy so um, I went ahead and got the size 2 instead of the 4 so if you are around the same size as me I'm like five foot three and pretty petite um, then this would probably be a better size for you so the two hits me like right at the shoulder right here so the shoulders fit really well um, the length of the sleeves are actually pretty good too so like I said I am pretty short so I was glad that the sleeve length kind of like hits me right here and then as far as the bottom of the jacket um, it kind of hits like right above the hip area but yeah that's what the jacket looks like on i think these zippers look pretty cool and it's not too crazy they had some other jackets um, in this sort of style or similar that had little tassels from the zipper tabs these also button down if you wanted to keep them button or you can keep them open if you wanted to totally up to you there's also um sorry zippers like right around here on the arm so anyways that's the all saints balfour and jacket that i got i'm really happy to start wearing this but i'm going to take it off now because it's getting too hot okay so the second item that i have here is the canon g7x camera so this is the camera that chris got for me at the beginning of vlogmas because I was a little bit worried about how I was going to be filming every day and have something I could take around with me so that I can film while, while we're doing stuff. Um, I definitely know that I could have used my phone, but sometimes when you're like wanting to get that shot of yourself like this, it's a little bit harder with your phone because the front camera on cell phones usually aren't as good. And then if you're using the back camera, you have no idea what you're doing. So I was really excited to get this camera and I really enjoyed using it. I think it helped me a lot. So I really enjoyed using this camera. I feel like it really helped me a lot and I also felt like the video quality was really good. Um, it's not gonna be anything like the Fuji that I'm filming on right now, which films in 4K. This one I think only goes up to 1080p, but it was still a really good quality. I did take it out at night and got some good shots that way. So 
yeah, like I mentioned, pretty much all of the videos that I shot during Vlogmas were solely on this camera. I did use my cell phone a couple of times um, when I just didn't have enough space to carry this in my purse. And when I went to the Ward Village Light Garden, some of those clips were shot on the Fujifilm in 4K. So if you watch that video, and I'll link that down below, any of the slow-mo stuff was done on the Fuji, but pretty much everything else was done on the Canon G7X. Okay, so the last item that I'm gonna talk to you guys um, about things that I got for Christmas is in this huge box and I'm using it right now. But um, we found a Black Friday deal on a monitor. So if you had watched some of my really old videos, I mentioned using a screen while filming so I can see like, you know, making sure that I'm in frame and stuff like that. But I didn't have a computer size monitor. I was actually using a 40 inch TV that we just had and we don't have anywhere to put. So it was kind of like an extra TV lying around. And that's kind of ridiculous, I know. But Chris went ahead and got me this monitor sorry switch sides because there was a glare but it's a gaming monitor by Acer and that's what I'm using right now I have it right down here as so I can see and make sure that I'm in frame but one thing that I really like about this is the screen tilts up a lot so I have it on the floor I was worried I was gonna have to get another table or something but I have it on the floor and I'm just tilting it up and I feel like this works a lot better than the TV that I was using before so I think it'll help me a lot with um, filming more videos for you guys and making sure I'm in focus and in frame I know this was kind of getting all crazy because the box is so big and I don't actually game so this will be the only reason why I'm using Using this monitor for filming purposes but so far so good um, I feel like I mean it's doing its job and I can see you know how much time I have left and everything that I would be able to see on the back of my Fuji film a couple other items that I wanted to share with you guys today I won't be showing them on camera but I did want to talk through a little bit of um, some, some other things that I got that I think will be really helpful for me in 2019 so something that I'm trying to work on is um, reducing my single plastic usage and waste in that kind of way and and I've been mentioning this to some of my friends. So for Christmas, I also got things like reusable Ziploc bags or silicone bags instead, and beeswax wrap that you can use instead of saran wrap. Um, also, sometimes I do tend to go to the farmer's market to buy produce instead of the grocery store. So my friend got me these mesh bags that I can put produce in and then wash it in the washing machine. Um, so those are just some things that I just wanted to throw out there in case you have any friends um, who you need to buy gifts for in the future, maybe their birthday or some other um, events. But in case you have family or friends that are looking to be a little bit more eco-friendly this year in 2019 like maybe that was a goal that they set for themselves or something um, those might be some ideas for gifts also I did get a couple of reusable shopping bags I can use either when I'm going to the mall or going to the grocery store here we actually had a law that was passed where stores need to charge you 15 cents per bag whether it be a regular retail store like a department store or the grocery store I think reusable bags are a very practical gift and I feel like there's a lot of cute designs and stuff out there so that you could find something for anybody but anyways, that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments below if you got anything cool for Christmas. Um, I would love to hear it or if there's anything on your wish list for upcoming holidays or birthdays or anything like that. But thank you so much for watching. If you liked watching this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more videos uh, like this one, don't forget to hit subscribe. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.